Hello guys, welcome to Open Eyes for Teens Podcast. I'm your host, Milaya. I'm always excited to talk to y'all. Happy Sunday, happy Thanksgiving Sunday in the month of February. Tell your neighbor, happy new season. It's a new season for me. I don't know about you, but it's a new season for me. Happy new season. And the topic is check your offering. This is a very interesting and quite controversial topic for some reason it's quite controversial so the anchor verse is Genesis 4 verses 4 and Abel he also brought off the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering the thing that I really noticed from this verse is that Abel gave God quality Abel gave God quality he didn't just give God anything he gave God quality most of the time i feel like most people just i just i'm just doing it because i need to do it i'm just doing it just because it's part of my schedule i'm just doing it because it's a chore but like abel gave it to god and he did it with excellence he knows that god god doesn't have to accept his offering i feel like it came with a portion that god definitely did not have to accept his offering God has so many other flocks. We were literally living in the Garden of Eden at that time. God has so many flocks. He's the owner of everything. Like, he's the owner of everything. So, when he wanted to give his offering, he gave the best. Because he knows God is the best out of this best. He knows God is the best out of the best. And even his best is not even enough. I feel like that's how we should be. We should live with that mindset of quality over quantity sometimes the quantity might not necessarily be quality the posture of your heart determines its quality the posture of your heart determines its quality so that's something that we should keep which is something we should keep in mind i have heard some of our pastors in the redeemed christian church of god say if you are suffering check your offering if things are tight check it tight you don't have to be in the uk to be okay and you don't need to be in china to be shining every good thing comes from above not abroad many people complain about not being blessed but yet they refuse to check their offerings an offering is freely given to express your gratitude or love for god it's not given to show off it's not given to be on the spotlight it's given to show gratitude to god it's not given gradually it's not given spiritually it's given to show gratitude to god it's given to show love for god because god literally owns everything he doesn't have to take it from you but you, when you do it and when you sacrifice when you understand the law of sacrifice and you do it properly with excellence god can bless you he does not have to bless you it really does not have to bless you and i think oftentimes people come up with a mindset that i have to give so that god can bless me if god does not bless me then i don't want to give like that mindset is very corrupt and i think we're all guilty of that in somewhere or some type where i think god has to bless us because we're doing something no he does not necessarily have to do that but because he's a faithful god because of the faithful God, they reward us in due season. It should be given purely based on your financial capacity and willingness and not gradually. It reminds me of a story in the Bible where um, this lady gave like a small amount of money, but it was a, a whole salary. It was all of a salary. A post- the posture of her heart was right. The posture of her heart, her heart was right. But people are like, why would she get that small amount of money and all that stuff? But the pressure of her heart was right. So the quantity did not matter, but the quality was based on the posture of her heart. You should be thoughtful enough to give God a portion of your blessings he has already given you. So he's the one giving you. So God does not owe you anything. We should not come to the mindset that God owes us stuff. No, God does not owe you anything. <laughs> God himself taught us how to give when he gave his beloved son to die for our sins. 
John 3 16. God could have said Jesus is enough. You don't need none of my blessings. God could have said that. But no. He decides to bless us when we give. He decides to bless us when we give. This is why I can give God anything that He requests of me. Can you give God anything that He requests of you? Same question I'm asking myself. Can I give God anything that He requests of me? What's that thing that you don't want to sacrifice? Is it food? Is it your time? Is it your energy? Is it your resources? Is it your money? It goes way beyond money, honestly. Sometimes people are not ready to give God your job. People are not ready to give God that project. People are not ready to give God your, your business. You are not ready to sacrifice that for God. It's above God. And sacrifice, the, the act of giving is a form of sacrifice. It's a form of sacrifice. So something can die. So that something can die. Sometimes we hold on to things so much that we idolize it but the form of sacrifice lets us give it to God so that that thing can die so that I think can die the best time to start learning how to give is now so that by the time you begin earning large sums of money giving will already be a lifestyle giving is a lifestyle giving is a lifestyle I encourage you to start giving to at least one person every week apart from the offerings you give in church so let's imagine a scenario where you are going to church in the morning you see a homeless person in need of help you just hastily pass them because you don't see need to give them money you don't see need to help them but when you go to church because you want to be in front of the spotlight when they ask who wants to give this large sum of money you're the first to raise your hand it's not necessarily the right thing to do or the right thing, way to act according to the word of god no no God encourages us to be hospitable to our neighbors, to love our neighbors as ourselves. It also reminds me of the story of the Good Samaritan, where all these people work past this guy. All these people work past this guy, but the one that showed the love of God is the one that stopped. So sometimes you might have to stop what you're doing to help somebody else in need, so you can show them God's love. So yeah, be a blessing to God's work and the people around you and watch you multiply your resources. When you give cheerfully, you will receive. Bible quiz. Who was the first king of Israel? I'm going to do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you guess so, then you are right. Thank you for listening to Open Us Your Teens Podcast. God bless you and have an amazing week ahead.